I'm Janice, I'm from the YMCA of Cape Breton, and I'm joining you today from the comfort of my own living room because I'm going to be showing you how to do a home workout, and what better way to show you a home workout than from home. So this workout is from our Boost Stream, it's going to require very, very little equipment. All I'm going to be using for this uh, workout today is my coffee table, which you see right here, and a little step stool that I borrowed from my daughter's room. You might modify this by using your stairs or uh, a small box, maybe a laundry basket tipped upside down for some of our exercises. Just find something that's going to work for you. Maybe you don't even need these things, okay? It's just to show you an option. So our workout today is going to consist of a warm-up, three circuits, and then a cool-down. Our circuits are going to each have three exercises in each circuit, followed by a 30-second rest before we repeat. And I'm going to show you some modifications as we go through. So the first time I do each circuit, I'm going to show you our base move. The second time I run through it, I'm going to show you a way to make it a little bit gentler. And the third time I go through it, I'll show you a way to make it a little bit more of a challenge if that's something that you're feeling like you're up for today. So are you guys ready to go? I'm going to start with a little gentle warm-up with some dynamic stretches. Turning our timer on, we are going to just do some gentle squats for 30 seconds. So what we're trying to do here is warm up our hips, our knees, our ankles, start getting the synovial fluid moving through our joints. It's nice and gentle, not too strenuous. I'm not trying to really muscle activate. Just a good little warm up. We're gonna move from this into big arm stretches. Alternating our sides, opening everything up. Reach it up. And up. We have five seconds left here. And we're coming into some hip rotation. External hip rotations. You may have heard these called trail walks. I'm doing a little bit of a rotation for my torso. How are we all feeling? Good stuff. And then our last one is a chest and back stretch. Opening and closing. So spread your collarbones wide and rounding through your back. We have 10 more seconds here and we're going to start our first circuit. The first exercise is push-ups. You feeling warm? You feeling ready? Let's come down to the mat. So for our push-ups, hands slightly outside your shoulders, coming into a plank position, bending those elbows, maintaining a nice straight core. And we're just going to be here for about 30 seconds. Don't worry about counting reps. We're going for time today. You got it, five more seconds. Bums are low. We're gonna flip over, laying on our back, extending hands and legs long. And as we lift our head and shoulders, we're reaching towards our feet. So extend, pull everything in. We're out, we're in. You got this guys, three seconds. Flip over, coming into a mountain climber position. Again, we're in that high plank. We're gonna pull our knees into our chest. Hips stay low. And this can be fast, this can be slow, but we're going. We're halfway there for this set. You got it. And we're going to take a 30 second break. If you need to grab a drink of water, you can do that now. I am. So this time, we're going to make things a little bit easier. 
I'm going to show you some incline push-ups. So a way to make that gentler. You can, of course, can always do those push-ups from your knees if you don't have a co coffee table to lean on. My heart rate is already up a little bit. I hope yours is too. Ready for those incline push-ups? Let's go. I'm still maintaining that nice straight line from my head down to my feet. Still bringing my chest towards my bench. Coming down onto our back. This time, instead of two legs in, we're going to try one single knee in, alternating our legs. And instead of our mountain climbers, you can go right back to this, guys. We don't need to take the gentle version. This is high knees. We can walk our high knees, or we can run our high knees. The choice is yours. And again, these are just modifications. You can be back down on your mat doing your regular mountain climbers. And rest. Good. We have one more round through this circuit before we move on. This is our challenging circuit. And again, this is just a choice. It's just to show you. You do not need to take this version if this is not where you're feeling comfortable with today. Five seconds. We're coming into a decline position where our feet are lifted. Other than that, everything else stays the same. I'm taking care not to round my back. Last rep, back down to the ground. Straight leg jackknives. We're extending and we're up. Almost done. One more. Flip over. Back to mountain climbers. This time I'm taking a cross. So knee to opposite elbow. Getting a little bit of work through our obliques. Again, this can be slow, or we can speed it up for a bit more of a cardio workout. It's okay to hear your breath. Beauty. We have 60 seconds to bring that heart rate back down just a little bit before we move on. Grab another quick drink. You hear me breathing? We want to hear you breathing. So, in this circuit, we're going to work some squats with some hip abductors. We're gonna do some high-low planks and we're gonna do some jumping jacks. All stuff you're familiar with, just putting it together maybe a little bit differently. Don't stop moving entirely during your rest. All right, we are coming into a squat with a hip abduction. So we're gonna hinge at the hips. As we stand, leg kicks out. And we're alternating which leg we're kicking with. You 
can be going slower or faster than I am. Again, we're not counting reps here. We're just going for time. We're gonna move into our high plank position for high low planks. So starting high, arms are straight, heels are extended. We're gonna drop down to our elbows and push back up to a high plank. We're gonna switch our arms, we're gonna do the same thing. So every time we come down to our elbows, we're starting with the opposite arm. Remember to keep those hips low. We're trying to keep your hips level to your mat. That's it, guys. Jumping jacks. We're all familiar with these, guys. You did them in grade school. This is your cardio element. Looking good. How are we going to make these harder, you say? Just you wait. And rest. We have 30 seconds. My screen timer went on. So to make those squats just a little bit easier, and by a little bit easier, I don't mean it's easy, I just mean it's a little bit easier. We're gonna take up the hip abduction and we're gonna add a pulse at the bottom. Are you ready? Let's do it. Drop your up, pulse, and stand. Drop it, pulse, and up. So that pulse is like a little bounce at the bottom of our squat. We still wanna make sure that we're leading with our hips, keeping your weight in your heels, and stand. Lots of nice juicy action happening in our quads and in our glutes in this one. Alrighty, coming back down to those high-low planks. These, my friends, can be done from your knees. We're down, we're up. We're down, we're up. We are still getting a really good upper body workout here because you are pushing your upper body off the mat. And back to our jacks. This time, taking it into a walking jack. This is only here if you need it. Otherwise, I want to see those big old jumping jacks. Almost time for a rest. You got a couple more reps in ya. Awesome. I'm grabbing that little step stool that I showed earlier because I'm going to need this for my modification for our next exercise. We're just going to leave that right there. We are about halfway through this whole workout, guys. You're doing fantastic. Remember not to stop completely during these little rest periods. All right, squat to curtsy squat to our hip abduction. Just adds a little bit more. That's it. Hey, whoever said working out wasn't fun. I'm having fun. I hope you are too. Too much harder. We're walking it up onto our box. Woo! You might want to want a wider stance with your feet for this one. For more stability, you got it. And those jumping jacks are now an air jack. You want to land with soft knees. Whew. 
Don't worry if you can't complete every single one. Go back to whatever modification works for you. I'm tired too. Beauty. We have a minute here, guys. It's time to grab more water. Stick with some toe taps. Walk in the spot. Try not to let your heart rate completely drop down. We still got a lot of work coming up. We're going to be doing some burpees in this last round. Burpees! I know you love burpees and you're excited to hear me say that. So I'm going to keep this guy close. Just moving it off to the side for right now. And remember to take as many breaks as you need during these 30 seconds. Let's go. We're out. We're up. We're skipping the push-up for right now. Trust me, this is hard enough. Plant those hands, jump back and in, right up to the sky. One more rep. Good stuff. Alrighty. We're going to come into a really fun one. Forearm plank to a plank and back. And up and back. Lifting that bum and lowering. Still reaching through your heels. We get a nice little shoulder stretch here. For any of my yoga people, you might recognize this as our dolphin. Back to my little step stool or your stairs. We're coming into a fast toe tap on our box. We like this one. Beauty. 30 seconds. Don't forget to breathe. For our second round of this circuit, things get a little bit gentler, but only if you need it. If you don't need it, don't take it. We're going to start with an incline burpee. We jump out, we jump in, we stand up. Out, in, and stand. We still want to maintain that nice strong core in our plank pose here. So it's a core brace. Coming down to the ground, we're just going to hold this forearm plank. So we are here for 30 seconds, keeping our shoulders above our elbows, our hips are low, our core is nice and tight. 30 seconds is nothing. It's funny how something that's nothing can simultaneously feel like the longest 30 seconds of your life, but we're almost done. Awesome. We are going to do walking toe taps on that box. So just gentle. Still getting a little bit of quad activation. We're taking a lot of that high cardio aspect out. Try not to kick your box over. Awesome. I might just be showing you this modification one time because I don't know how much more of them I have in me. But to make those burpees harder, we're going to do a full burpee 
with the push up, option to jump on the box. Whew. Hopefully at home you get something a little bit lower than my coffee table. All right, are we ready? Let's do this together. Up on the box, down. Yes! Who doesn't love burpee box jumps? I love them. One more. Awesome work. Let's come into that dolphin. Plank to dolphin. We're adding a hip drop. So we're going to lift, lower, drop a hip. Lift, lower, other side. Keep going. One more each side. Last rep. You got it. All righty, guys. Whew. We are going to run up and down on this box. Alternate your legs. And we're done. We are going to finish off with our cool down. So catch your breath. And we're going to do some stretches. So starting by grabbing one foot. Quad stretch. We want our knees level with one another. We want to press our hips forward and hold. Feel free to hold on to something if you need a little bit of balance. Great job. We're going to step that foot back, drop your heels to the ground for a calf stretch. I'll come to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Toes both facing forward, dropping that back heel to the ground. We can lean slightly forward for a little bit more stretch in that calf. Now we're going to stand up and we're going to figure four. I'll face front again. Figure four. I'm making a number four with my legs, pressing that knee to the side for a gentle stretch through our hip. You guys are killing it. All right, other leg. Quad stretch. Hold. Grab a friend. Grab a chair. Grab your dog. Something if you need that balance. Step back for that calf stretch. Dropping that heel back to the ground and leaning slightly forward until you feel the stretch right down the back of your leg. Work back up. Figure four on the other side. In any of these balance stretches, finding something on the ground or the wall, something that's not moving to focus your gaze on, really helps with your balance. Okay, we're not done yet. We're gonna do a little hip stretch. Again, I'm gonna turn to the side. We're gonna be up in the toes of your back foot and we're gonna push those hips forward as if you were holding a bowl of water with your pelvis. We don't want that water to spill. So lifting those hips forward. And now we're gonna step back and stretch the opposite hamstring. Keeping your chest nice and high. And we're just going to switch sides. So opposite leg comes back. We're up in those tiptoes, pressing your hips forward and up. Stretch to the opposite hip. And let that back foot lower to the ground. Front toes pull towards your face. Leg is nice and straight and strong. We're not going to put our hands on that straight leg. If you need a little bit more balance, they can stay in your bent leg. We don't want to push down on that left out knee. Great job, guys. Stand back up. We're going to, if you're able to interlace your fingers behind your back, you can do that rolling your shoulders back. If you're not able to interlace, no big deal. Reaching your hands back to really pull your chest forward, pull those shoulders towards the back of the room. 
Opening up, spreading through your chest. And then we're going to do the opposite. We're going to interlace in front, rounding your back this time. Really spreading your shoulder blades as wide as you can. And our final stretch, taking your arms across your body. We're not going to hold the elbow. We're not going to hold below the elbow. This is a gentle stretch through your shoulder. And final side. I'm proud of you. Doing a home workout isn't always the easiest thing when you're used to being in a gym, but you did it. We did it together. I'm proud of me too. Thanks so much for joining me, everybody. I hope to see you back on our channel.